hello guys today uh, March March 2 2019 I'm recording this video to help the, those people to understand how vacuum system vacuum heating system works I've been working for NYCHA which is a New York City um, housing authority here in New York and I mean East River uh, so I'm gonna explain how the system work to start and make a clear comprehension and details about how the system work is back in the days the dead man let's say 1940 1950 1960 they were installing this system they were they they were they know they knew sorry they knew what they were doing and basically the steam is pretty tricky in one pie and two pies but it's, it's so much complicated in vacuum system because steam behaves in a different way in vacuum systems so what happened is i got my my supply going into each brand of the building going this way as, as you can see and I got three different lines it doesn't matter where I got this small line which is my return and what happened is each radiator at the as the tenants apartments each radiator had to have a steam traps at the end of, of each radiator and the return light, which is this one, never, never in the light, never in the light, gotta have to have a steam trap. As you can see, this this line is not is not modified by by anything. I think this this is, this one is the original one from let's say 1960. So what happened is this one too. This one is fine. As you can see, the return coming back as a condensate, condensate water going this way. This one too is, is, is more than fine. But what happened is this. So I got my supply coming in, got my return, the drip bleb. And what happened is this. Some genius, they were thinking, because they don't got hit in this line, the problem was they need a steam traps. And that's a big, big mistake. Because now you got the line double trap. Double trap means you got no vacuum here. You got no vacuum at all. Or less, let's say less vacuum. You have less, less vacuum now that you double trap that line. You got less vacuum here. It's just, the, the line is under pressure. The, li the line is not anymore under vacuum. It's not working under vacuum. It's, it's working under pressure. And the thing cannot go all the way out to the tenant's apartment. So as you can see, it's dripping. It's dripping because it's working under pressure. And this is unbelievable stupid. This is something that you, you cannot do. Anyway, these union guys are working over there, trying to, to fix the problem. As you can see, another mistake. So what happened is, this building, is working with the software called CHAS and what happened is you can see another mistake here um, I'm gonna show you CHAS right now guys this this is the um, the mat motor Honeywell controlling the sound valve, but this mat motor is being controlled by Shas. Shas is the software of the um, boiler room that tells this mat motor to modulate how much steam is going into the building. And as you can see here, I got my readings, my uh, gauge. 
then this one is showing you how much pressure you got and how much vacuum you got and I got two kinds of vacuums in this system one is called housing vacuum which is the one going to the um, building and one coming back in the line which is the return vacuum this is my vacuum and take a look what happened when you got too much steam too much steam means it's gonna condensate it's gonna create it's gonna make the entire building to get flat so what happened is those vacuum pumps cannot handle that amount of steam and they get ruined easy steam eats out vacuum pumps in lunch in breakfast so what happened is you never gonna satisfy the temperature the tenants apartment it the build if the building is higher than five or six six floors let's say six floors more than that you cannot satisfy so what happened is you're gonna need more steam it's gonna create pressure it's there is a reason why the system is called vacuum system. It gotta remain under vacuum. This system gotta, gotta remain under vacuum, never under pressure. And what happened is, look, look how bad it is. Hmm? Water, condensate. And I would say, I would say, 60% 60% of nature buildings they got this problem and I guess they realize that and then been sh they've been changing those pumps for a new one thinking the problem is the pumps the problem is the problem is not the pumps those vacuum pumps they can work perfect the problem is people thinking they know too much and doing this this huge mistake you can think about it that is not a huge mistake but it is it is because you will never satisfy people's apartment temperature and what happens is people's gonna complain and no matter what how much vacuum how much power of pulling those pong god they 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 can they can pull um 30 30 inches of vacuum, 40, which is a huge vacuum, but you will never pull because you got your steam trap over here. You got your first steam trap over here, which is wrong, and then you got more steam traps going into the ten tenants' apartments. And this is happening in 70% of these buildings, nicer buildings, and they ask, why we had this problem this problem why we got these kind of problems problem is nobody wants to read nobody wants to learn anything and everybody wants to get these numbers under the chest this number means a lot steam feed local you had to know vacuum system perfect how vacuum system behaves and I know a lot of guys are gonna come here and tell me, hey, you're wrong, you, you're telling this, you're telling that. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta read some book before you're telling me what I'm saying. So that's what it is.